friends to discuss about another important uh, use case here as you can see the input file and i have kept the use case here so oh, i'm i'm explaining the use case briefly here so i have a scenario where i have to read a data from excel sheet and based on one column value i have to select uh, another column okay so here you can see the short name if it is en then i have to select another column called language one if it is tn then i have to select another column called language two if it is kn other column called language three tm other column called language four i have to select so this is my use case so oh, if so here i am reading this short name and based on that i have to select another one that is that is the use case so for this implementation what i really suggest is you can use switch case uh, activity so we'll let's go and implement this scenario okay. so here i have selected i have taken one common sequence then uh, then i have used this excel application scope to read this excel file and i have saved everything that content uh, content into the content into the data table that is dt1 as you can see here okay so now i have the data table so let me see how the data is looking like first so let's go to data table and uh, select output data table i just want to see how the data is looking here so i'll give this data one now and select output then i'll go here message box i'll i'll pin this data here then we can discuss the actual scenario now let me exclude this now you can see how the data is looking so after english there were three commas that means there is a data there are there were some columns but there is no data into it so i should not select it so at the end of the scenario what my intention is to get id my end of the scenario it be like selecting columns will be like this is like id and language language based on this one okay so i hope it's clear now what i'll do is since i have the data in my um, data table i can loop through each and every row to see whether the data is there for the particular column or not right so i'll be using for each loop here which row yeah which row of uh, dt1 okay now anyhow i need id column so what i'll do is i'll create two variables i don't need this output now i'll create two variables one is id of string type and the other one is um, language of string type okay and the scope is entire act entire this uh, sequence okay then what i'll be doing is assign activity to get id first okay so row dot item of this is zero index right so two string two string i am assigning into the id okay this is done now let's execute and see how that is coming is it coming properly or not so directly go here put the message box give id execute it i hope it's clear till now actual logic will begin in a in a minute minute or so now you can see 101 102 103 104 now this is at index 0 so the short name will be starting from index 1 we just need to use that so what i'll be doing is i'll be deleting this message box i'll use the switch statement switch which statement in the in here so row dot 
item of one dot two string and when you are comparing the strings when you are giving as a conditional statement try to remove the spaces in the beginning and end now you can see this expression type of argument by default it is selecting in 32 because of that i am getting this error like cannot able to convert a string into the integer so what i will do is i will change it to the string format that's it now it will ask for the cases now case 1 i want to pull if it is en i want to pull this language right so what i will do is in case 1 i will give en that means english now it will ask for us to drop an activity since i have created this language variable language variable i can use that here so what i will be doing is assign activity drop it here and go dot item of this is it second index right to string here what i'll do is i'll assign this to language okay and the next case will be next case will be um, next case is tn tn is telugu i have given here okay so tn that's it it will ask it will ask for to drop an activity there that means what you want to do when it is tn so i'll again assign it again assign it to the next column that is it index 3 next uh, next take it uh, let me give uh, tm tm is it fifth index so fifth index okay that's it so let me put one message box here so i am purposefully uh, not taking that one other condition that is because we will see in a, in a bit message box how the default will work we can see using that scenario that i will explain in a bit so id plus language so now let's see how it's working now you can see 101 of english dash 102 then the language if it is id if the short name is tn then language is assigned to the language too that is telugu and then if it is tm if it is uh, sorry something has happened here kn yeah i'll see that then 104 tn is tamil okay so what is the issue here 101 telugu 102 telugu 101 english 102 telugu 103 again at telugu okay okay i got an issue here yeah fine understood here since it is assigned to this one since it is already assigned to the um already assigned to the another language here so that is being taken here okay understood no problems for tamil okay yeah good this i can do it in two ways so what I'll do is um, what I can do is um, I just need to uh, yeah, I'll do one thing as an activity I just need to uh, refresh it to the null again once it is assigned once it is displayed here that means here i am displaying but in your case you may be passing it to some other sequence here that's the only difference so i'll do this language is equal to so the reference is died after that the data will be gone now you can see 
वन जीरो वन इंग्लिश वन जीरो टू तेलुगु वन जीरो थ्री नथिंग इज दे वन जीरो फोर तमिल यू गाट नौ वाट आई डू इज फॉर डिफाट सिनारी दट मीन वन जीरो दट कनड ई हव गिवेन दिस के एन रईट वन जीरो थ्री के एन दट इज कनड ई हव एट बट ई हेवन टेकन एनी के कंडीशन सो फॉर दैट दट मीन इट विल कम टू डिफाट इफ दट कंडीशन इज मैथ मैचिंग इट विल कम टू डिफाट सो लैंग्वेज नौ ऐल से Oh dot. Item of what is that index? Zero, one, two, three, four. Fourth index dot two string. Now it will come for that kind of condition. English one zero two one zero three one zero four. That's it. I hope it's clear. There's a one small drawback with this code, so it will be like even if some other condition is not matching. Let me take this condition, something like. Then, here I'll be putting something like. Then here I'll be putting. Something like this. Then it will. Select this language to since it is not matching in any sequence, any of the case study case uh, statements. Sorry for that. Any of the case statements. So, I hope you understand this properly. Now you can see that we got one zero five of will. Okay, welcome. I just typed will there. Okay, so I hope it's clear now. Please let me know if you have any any doubts. uh regarding this you can mention in the comment section so that i can come back to you on this thank you